The Lord will bring you and your king whom you set over you to a nation that neither you nor your fathers have known. And there you shall serve other gods of wood and stone. And you shall become a horror, a proverb, and a byword among all the peoples where the Lord will lead you away. You shall carry much seed into the field, and shall gather in little, for the locust shall consume it. You shall plant vineyards and dress them, but you shall neither drink of the wine nor gather the grapes, for the worm shall eat them. You shall have olive trees throughout all your territory, but you shall not anoint yourself with the oil, for your olives shall drop off. You shall father sons and daughters, but they shall not be yours, for they shall go into captivity. The cricket shall possess all your trees and the fruit of your ground. The sojourner who is among you shall rise higher and higher above you, and you shall come down lower and lower. He shall lend to you, and you shall not lend to him. He shall be the head, and you shall be the tail. All these curses shall come upon you and pursue you and overtake you till you are destroyed, because you did not obey the voice of the Lord your God to keep his commandments and his statutes that he commanded you. They shall be a sign and a wonder against you and your offspring forever. Because you did not serve the Lord your God with joyfulness and gladness of heart, because of the abundance of all things, therefore you shall serve your enemies whom the Lord will send against you, in hunger and thirst, in nakedness, and lacking everything. And he will put a yoke of iron on your neck until he has destroyed you. The Lord will bring a nation against you from far away, from the end of the earth, swooping down like the eagle, a nation whose language you do not understand, a hard-faced nation who shall not respect the old or show mercy to the young. It shall eat the offspring of your cattle and the fruit of your ground until you are destroyed. It also shall not leave you grain, wine, or oil, the increase of your herds, or the young of your flock, until they have caused you to perish. They shall besiege you in all your towns, until your high and fortified walls in which you trusted come down throughout all your land. And they shall besiege you in all your towns throughout all your land which the Lord your God has given you. And you shall eat the fruit of your womb, the flesh of your sons and daughters, whom the Lord your God has given you, in the siege and in the distress with which your enemies shall distress you. The man who is the most tender and refined among you will begrudge food to his brother, to the wife he embraces, and to the last of the children whom he has left, so that he will not give to any of them any of the flesh of his children whom he is eating, because he has nothing else left, in the siege and in the distress with which your enemy shall distress you in all your towns. The most tender and refined woman among you, who would not venture to set the sole of her foot on the ground because she is so delicate and tender, will begrudge to the husband she embraces, to her son and to her daughter, her afterbirth that comes out from between her feet and her children whom she bears, because lacking everything she will eat them secretly, in the siege and in the distress with which your enemy shall distress you in your towns. If you are not careful to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that you may fear this glorious and awesome name, the Lord your God, then the Lord will bring on you and your offspring extraordinary afflictions, afflictions severe and lasting, and sicknesses grievous and lasting. And he will bring upon you again all the diseases of Egypt, of which you were afraid, and they shall cling to you. Every sickness also, and every affliction that is not recorded in the book of this law, the Lord will bring upon you, until you are destroyed. Whereas you are as numerous as the stars of heaven, you shall be left few in number, because you did not obey the voice of the Lord your God. And as the Lord took delight in doing you good and multiplying you, so the Lord will take delight in bringing ruin upon you and destroying you, and you shall be plucked off the land that you are entering to take possession of it. And the Lord will scatter you among all peoples, from one end of the earth to the other, and there you shall serve other gods of wood and stone, which neither you nor your fathers have known. And among these nations you shall find no respite, and there shall be no resting place for the sole of your foot. But the Lord will give you there a trembling heart and failing eyes and a languishing soul. Your life shall hang in doubt before you. Night and day you shall be in dread and have no assurance of your life. In the morning you shall say, If only it were evening. And at evening you shall say, If only it were morning because of the dread that your heart shall feel, and the sights that your eyes shall see. And the Lord will bring you back in ships to Egypt, a journey that I promised that you should never make again. And there you shall offer yourselves for sale to your enemies as male and female slaves. But there will be no buyer. One day he got into a boat with his disciples, and he said to them, Let us go across to the other side of the lake. So they set out, and as they sailed, he fell asleep. And a windstorm came down on the lake, and they were filling with water and were in danger. And they went and woke him, saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. And he awoke and rebuked the wind and the raging waves, and they ceased, and there was a calm. He said to them, Where is your faith? And they were afraid, and they marveled, saying to one another, Who then is this, that he commands even winds and water, and they obey him? Then they sailed to the country of the Gerasenes, which is opposite Galilee. When Jesus had stepped out on land, there met him a man from the city who had demons. For a long time he had worn no clothes, and he had not lived in a house but among the tombs. 
When he saw Jesus, he cried out and fell down before him and said with a loud voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I beg you, do not torment me. For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For many a time it had seized him. He was kept under guard and bound with chains and shackles, but he would break the bonds and be driven by the demon into the desert. Jesus then asked him, What is your name? And he said, Legion. For many demons had entered him, and they begged him not to command them to depart into the abyss. Now a large herd of pigs was feeding there on the hillside, and they begged him to let them enter these. So he gave them permission. Then the demons came out of the man and entered the pigs, and the herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and drowned. When the herdsmen saw what had happened, they fled and told it in the city and in the country. Then people went out to see what had happened, and they came to Jesus and found the man from whom the demons had gone, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. And those who had seen it told them how the demon-possessed man had been healed. Then all the people of the surrounding country of the Gerasenes asked him to depart from them, for they were seized with great fear. So he got into the boat and returned. The man from whom the demons had gone begged that he might be with him, but Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your home and declare how much God has done for you. And he went away, proclaiming throughout the whole city how much Jesus had done for him. Hello and welcome to Bible Time. Today, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 36 through 68. In Deuteronomy, it begins with how God will bless those who would trust Him and obey Him. The abundance of blessing will follow to those who live to obey His laws and command. And they will be provided and they will be protected. That's verse 1 through 14. However, verse 15 through 68, 56 verses, speaks about how those who disobey the Lord will be cursed. The Lord will make it clear that He will not tolerate those who disobey Him. Their harvest, their health, their land will be cursed and experience extreme and severe suffering. They will go through plagues and diseases and many will perish from it. Also, the Lord will remove His protection over their lives. They will suffer from the nations taking their land, their possession, even their children and women will be taken as their slaves. Choice was on their hand, either to obey the Lord and be blessed, or disobey and be cursed in great suffering. That is Deuteronomy chapter 28. Now Luke chapter 8 verse 22 through 39. As Jesus and his disciples were on a boat, Jesus fell into a deep sleep. Then a massive storm arose at the sea and threatened their lives. In fear, they woke Jesus up and Jesus gets up and calms the storm. Jesus was disappointed in their lack of faith and they were perplexed by Jesus' authority over the nature. Not only Jesus' power to heal disease and sicknesses, but they came to know Jesus who even have power over nature when He commanded the wind and the wave to still and it happened. When they got into the other side, demon-possessed man who is known by the townspeople met Jesus and fell to the feet of Jesus. Demons were not a match to Jesus. The these demons who knew Jesus is asked to be sent into a pigs nearby in the field. And the pigs began to go off the cliff and drown and they died. The owner of this pig saw the man who was demon-possessed was completely healed and he was in right mind. What they decided to do is that they wanted to drove out Jesus and they drove Jesus out of their town. And the man who has been healed from this demon possession, he told everyone about what Jesus has done. What Jesus has done is only explained in this one thing. We realize that Jesus is the Son of God. That's the only explanation, that He has a power over nature and the power over, over demonic forces. Let us pray. 
Father God, we come before you. Help us to know that the Jesus that we believe is the God Almighty who has a mighty power over nature for you are the one who created everything and that you have power over dark forces of evil that you could rescue us in the time of need. So Father, I pray that we would depend on the power of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we know that we would be accessing your power into our lives. So help us to trust you and believe in you in Jesus name. Amen.